Hey, I wanted to do the International ASMR Day Tag. I think it's what it's called. I don't really know. I'm doing a video response, so it doesn't really matter. So, Maria, um, Gentle Whispering, and Ilsa, the Water Whispers, um, both did a collaboration video today on International ASMR Day. And I thought it'd be fun to do my own little rendition of the tag video. It's 10 o'clock at night and my friend told me he's coming over late so I figured I'd get this video in before he comes over. There's no microphone set up, it's just my camera. <laughs> Very informal. So tag questions. What does International ASMR Day mean to you? It means to me that we're all coming together even more than we already are. Realistically, if you think about it, we're a very tight-knitted community already, and the fact that we have a day, a single day in the entire year dedicated to us, it's really cool because, think about it, we have videos posted every single day by new content creators, but on this day, it's more or less recognized by everyone. I think it's just the coming together of different people from different places all over the world, all over the, you know, this planet. I have friends from as far away as Australia and as close to home as the same state as me. There's a girl who watches my videos who actually ran into me when I was at work, recognized me, and made my day. She knows who she is, so hi. So, I think it's just people all over the world can come together. Oops, sorry, I got a text. Moving on. How do you see this day celebrated year to year? What kind of traditions should we adopt? I think year to year it's just gonna get bigger. I think. Last year, I remember being a viewer, and I remember watching Maria's multiple videos, and this year I think it's just going to be, well, from what I've seen so far, there's been, it's 10 o'clock at night for me, and most of the rest of the world is already in uh, April 10th, so I think year to year it's just going to get bigger, and we're just going to see more diverse videos, more intricate role plays. I know from just the past seven to eight months, I've seen role plays that I would never, ever, ever imagine being out of there. It's awesome. What tradition should we adopt? I like the tag video, actually. I was thinking about that when I was preparing myself to do this video, and I thought, you know, it's kind of cool that we're all answering the same questions. It's just some of us speak different languages and some of us um, have better equipment than others. Some of us are going to have way different answers than the other ones. It's kind of fascinating. Show us your tingle face or draw it if you're not comfortable. My tingle face is usually me on the side of my bed. I sleep on the right side of me. So imagine me, but horizontal. Usually my hair is like this. Everywhere. I have my phone propped up this way in front of me. On a pillow, of course. I'm watching it. And I start to just... Here, I have my phone in my hand. Like this. So, usually my tingle face is me completely looking like I am high on drugs. <laughs> Didn't really want to say that, but whatever. Describe your most intense ASMR response moment, either in real life or through a video. Hmm. I had a really cool one um, earlier this week, so I think I'll share that one. I was... I've always been a fan of Lana Del Rey, the musician, but I've never really truly intently listened to her music. 
with headphones and, you know, house to myself so I could jam out. So I put on headphones, listened to her song, Ride. It's a 10 minute video. And the introduction made my eyes roll back. And I find it very difficult for me to get tingles. I suffer a wee bit from ASMR immunity. And holy shit, that video was like the first time I ever experienced ASMR. I was like, uh, brain dead. It was wonderful. <laughs> How did ASMR improve your life? Do you see any positive changes? I have an entire video dedicated to how ASMR changed my life. It's titled Happiness, Something Other Other, A Personal Story. Pretty much, um, in high school I had trouble sleeping at night. I was diagnosed with, it's like, pardon my terminology, it's like seasonal insomnia. You only get it like certain seasons. So it was like I was transitioning from you know, being like a middle schooler into a high schooler, and from high school into really figuring out who I am as a teenager, and it was bad. A lot of bad breakups, a lot of tears, a lot of shit. Typical high school stuff. But I would fall asleep every night to these videos. It'd be 3 in the morning, my alarm would be going off at 5.50, and I would go to... I'd go to like sleep for hypnosis videos on my iTouch, not my iPod, not my, I mean, not my iPhone, my iTouch, and I'd fall asleep. It was an everyday occurrence. It would be sleep video, be like bed at like 10 o'clock, go to bed at like 4, sleep video out like a light. So realistically, ASMR is one of the reasons why I have my sanity because there's no way in hell I would even be functioning reason why I passed high school, a truly reason why I'm still here, I, I don't know, without these, without this channel, I don't know what my life would be like, and it's so positive, all the energy I get from every content creator, every comment, every subscription message, all that stuff, all of you, it's just positive energy flowing through me, and I love it. Make a short parody of one of your favorite whispers. Hey, it's smartest. Make sure you mention their name. Okay. Let me grab some paper. Okay, I love this girl, and this is no way it's supposed to offend her, so. <sighs> okay, my heart's racing. Hi, I'm Corky Feather. I have your medical history in front of me. I guess you suffer from tingles. No, not shingles, tingles. If you suffered from shingles, I would recommend a real doctor, not not a whispering doctor. So, today I'm going to show you an eye chart. On this eye chart, it is actually going to be words and phrases from various video games. I think I'm going to throw in some portal. A Zelda joke here or there might be adequate, and ah, this says right here. You will probably be asleep by the time you get to the part. I don't know why, but for some reason, you just will be. That's for Heather Feather. She's my favorite whisperer out there. I can fall asleep to her any given night. She's a total sweetheart. She loves cats. Oh, that girl. Love you, Heather. And that was not way I meant to offend you. I really hope you laughed at it because I feel bad if it offended you. How do you see ASMR developing in the next five years? I want ASMR to be on a global level. I want ASMR to be a household, like, thing. I don't want it to necessarily be like Hollywood, but I want it to be like everyone knows it. Like, people in their 40s are like, oh yeah, or people in like their 50s and 60s are like, oh yeah, I used to watch Bob Ross videos. 
and we'll be like, oh, I just uploaded like a parody of me on YouTube about Bob Ross. Like, I want people to really start to be more open-minded when it comes to ASMR. Um, I don't know, I really want ASMR to just be global, more than it already is. I mean, we have internationalized ASMR and it's pretty freaking global, but I want it to just be, you can talk to like your waiter about it, or you can go to a gas station and the person next to you is thinking about their ASMR. I want it to be something everybody has or everyone can train themselves to have. Uh oh. I'm getting myself sleepy. Not really. Um, realistically though, I think ASMR needs to be more well known than just this little tight knitted community we have. I think it needs to be seen by the world. So, this was my tag video for International ASMR Day. Um, I don't know how much time I have left on my memory card. Oh, okay, I have like 15 minutes left. Um, side note, thank you for the past nine months in this community. I have loved every second of it. Even if there are some days when I want to throw in the towel and quit because I've gotten hate or someone has said a really gruesome inappropriate comment that's just thrown my entire day off. There are always those people who make it so much better. And I'm really, truly grateful. I would go as far as saying I'm blessed to have all of you in my life. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys mean everything to me. From my heart to yours, I Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye my loves.